M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So what can we see here? We've got the Retivis RT3S on the right hand side and it's in satellite tracking mode. How is it able to do this? Well, it's got the new Open GD77 firmware and it's the this is the dual band radio. So it has to be a VHF UHF model and it can be the MD380, 390 as well. So what have we done? Well, let's back out. We'll go into, this is the normal mode, just talking to our talk groups as normal. When we go to satellite mode, we just press the green button. You get a long list and you press satellite. Now you do need a GPS lock, although it's quite weak where I am, but we are getting one. We just go back with the red button. We'll, we'll go to, up one to satellites, okay? Now these are the list of satellites and we can see that one is about to pass over quite soon at 11.53, it's now 11.51. So let's just say we want to talk to that one. We, we select the green button. This is showing it. Well, I'm not seeing any dots flying over. But anyway, we'll take our word for it that it's about to fly over. Now you update this um, information about when the satellite is going to fly over. You update it in your code plug. It's literally a two-click process in the OpenGD77 code plug, which looks the same as all code plugs. Click, click, and it uploads the information you just saw. Now, if we want to know where to transmit and receive, we just hit the down button. Okay, and look, 11.53, let's turn it up. And elevation 5%, 805, and it's the AD27 satellite. If we hit that again, we're now getting the, the frequencies that it's about to use. So it's 436, I think that says 801. Now, we to set the frequency steps on this radio, the num one thing you, I would say is put your squelch low. So there's your squelch at the bottom, turn that quite low. Like so, I'm a bit too slow on that. Squelch, low, we'll just lower the volume. Then hold down the DISP for your frequency steps. Well, first of all, let's hit config, and you've got your frequency steps there. The smallest you can get is actually five kilohertz on the FTM 400, but that's what we've used. You just push the button or tap the screen to change. Then we'll go back. And then the next thing you might need is tap TXRX and mode whether you want fm or fm narrow we've got it in normal fm for now we'll go back so the receive is four three six eight oh six five obviously we're not hearing anything m0 fxb now the transmit is one four five eight four eight here so if we go to the b band we've already put that in in vfo mode one four five eight four so we can't get exactly with this radio. You'd be better with a radio that is exactly, you know, on frequency. M0 FX speech. So we can transmit on the Yesu now if we want. So Mike Zero Fox X-Ray Bravo. So you get the idea. The point, what I'm showing you is that the, actually the radio just spoke to me and told me the satellite was coming. So what I'm saying is that if, especially with the ISS where you get a lot of people trying to communicate with it, when that's flying over, which I think is about 12.15, I'll be able to set the frequencies. Why use my FTM 400 or any, or any other dual band radio? Well, the reason is because I have a collinear on the roof. It's going to get better reception than standing outside with my RT3S and a rubber duck, which but I have I did do that yesterday and I did receive it. I never managed to get contacts, but I could hear everyone calling into the ISS. And I think the ISS passes over quite a few times. So how do I know when it's passing over? Let's turn this off. We'll just go back. And then we'll see that it says there ISS. You get a list. If I select it. Yeah, it says it's in 51 minutes and it shows the pass. So what we can do is then we can go back, we can go down two clicks, and we've got the frequencies. So 437797 if we try to talk to it now. So we could just select the A band, get as close as we can. 437, if we push the button, we'll change the big steps, one kilohertz. And then we can go 437797. Now it's a shame we haven't got finer tuning on the FTM 400, but. Anyway, 795 is the nearest. Then we go to the B section for the TX side of it, which is 1459909. There you go. 
And again, so we, I wish we had finer steps. So that's it. Let me know what you think about this. This is the Open GD77 firmware. As a normal DMR radio, it just works brilliant because if I'm in DMR mode, if I back out, I can manual dial so quickly. It's just hash, type the manual number, press the key, and that's manual dial. Do that again. There you are. It's put it in there now. And we can either select a talk group, you push that, or we can select private. It's even, if you're in FM mode, look, it's even got a band scope. So we can even, you know, get a band scope. I mean, it's a DMR radio, VHF, UHF, but it's got all this extra functionality because of the GD77 firmware. Look, signal meter here. A live signal meter as well. Go back. Language options. I mean, the rate. There are so many settings. It's unbelievable. We've got display options, radio options. You can have it white and black. I mean, they might bring in color. It talks to you. You can change the voice. You know, you can choose the voice. You can have. I'm pretty sure you can have set it so it has a turn off the filter so it lets all color codes through and all talk groups through. And it's I've got like a quick section button. If you push the top button here and push the green, you get this quick menu. And in it, there are the words filter. Look, filter, CTCSS, DMR filter. If you turn that to none, I think there is time slot filter. So turn all the filters off. Apparently, that's like the best promiscuous mode you could ever have. So... Let me know if you've got an MD380 dual band VHF, UHF in your cupboard. If you want to dig it out and try this firmware on it. Obviously, if you play around with firmware, you are running a risk. So you need to follow the instructions step by step. But you can remove it once it's on. If you take a backup flash um, is the most sensible way. Because you can save all the parameters of your RT3S using just... hit con When your code plug is correct, connected, select Control and 7 on the normal RT, RT Retivis code plug, and you can save what they call the test data, so you can bring that back in, and then when you flash, if you flash this with the OpenGD77, you can then uh, do, make a backup of the flash, so when you, if you do want to reinstall it, you can. Bye for now, 7.3.